<laughs> okay. That was Dude, what are you doing? Oh, I wanted to touch one. What? Lorenzo, that's an IO moth caterpillar. Yeah. I want to get stung. Wait. Wait, but... Lorenzo, you're saying you want to get stung? Yeah. You, you want to get stung? It can't be that bad. It can't be that bad. It's a caterpillar. You think? Yeah. Well, that's a very unwise thing to say. No, it's not. I, I've been stung by them many times, and it's... Depending on where on the body you get stung. Where's the worst part? Oh, uh, well, your forearm would be terrible. They are covered, and I mean covered, with little tiny green and black syringes with poison. And if you touch them at all, even the slightest touch, these little spines are urticating and they inject you with poison and it hurts, it burns for quite a while. In fact, one just stuck my thumb a little bit. Um, so now, how many, is it like days? No, it, it burns for a couple, like an hour or two. All right. Uh, it, you know, depending on how bad you get stung. I mean, you, you know, if you really mess yourself up and and get, like, some, I know, I've known some people that have stepped on these and, like, all their weight goes on all the spines. And it actually, some people have had some neurological issues. What? They've gone to the hospital. Yeah. So. I have one. Okay, what happened right here? A tarpon. You were feeding a tarpon. And this is an old scar from a snook. Really? Yeah. How does snook do that? Gill plate. Gill plate? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. He's a fisherman, guys. And tarpon and snook are fish. Yeah. He gets messed up. All right. I don't know how it got two, but I remember. That was like a long time ago, like like last mullet run or two mullet runs ago. Really? Yeah. Dude, where, where did it sting you? Right there. Right, there. right there. Okay. So now, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to come back in a couple minutes. Yeah, I feel it burning. You're starting to feel it burning? Yeah. What do you feel right now, son? I don't know. It just feels like burning, like right there. Yeah? Yeah. How bad is the burn on a scale of 1 to 10? 4 5. 4 or 5? I don't think I got burned too bad. Well, yeah, you didn't put like a whole lot of pressure on them. You know, it's, it was just yeah, a really, stinging, really surface yeah. thing. It's starting to sting, right? It starts to burn a little bit, right? All right, guys, look at this baby putting on gloves. Yeah, well... I'm sorry if I'm not a masochist, but I, I've been stung enough by these things where uh, I don't appreciate it, and I would I would rather really rather not get stung if I don't have to. So okay, so this this becomes challenging. <laughs> you know you're a masochist when. You a masochist. Do you know what a masochist is, son? Yeah. What is a masochist? Kind of. Like a crazy person? No. Well, kind of. Yeah. Somebody who enjoys inflicting themselves pain. Mm. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. Now, I don't know where they are on this thing. They're all over the place. Show, show where they're at on this thing. There's three right there. Yeah. One right there. Oh. Yeah, they're all over. Right there. Ooh. Bunch right there. Yep. They're mowing, bro. They're chowing. They're chowing and mowing. Right there. One right there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a dead one. Look. Oh, it sucks. Sucks to him. A little virus. Oh, I don't. Oops, sorry. Off. Yeah, this is. Right, oh, he might be pre pupa, no? No. No? No, not quite. He's fat. No, not quite. All right, I need this. This is tough. There. Yeah, there's at least there's at least 45 or 50 there, in here right for there. sure. Right there, a fatty. All right, we have now decided to use our brains and place them on the floor. <laughs> Yeah. Look at all that poo. There's a lot of poo. Um, we actually went out of town for a few days and jammed enough food in here to last them, which it obviously has, but there's a dead guy. So we've got two casualties. What happens is when you put too much food in a container, you can see the condensation here. That's no bueno. 
Uh, so, and the, the frass is starting to mold on the bottom. That's how you know you have waited, officially waited too long to change out your container and clean it out. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna clump that all up. No, it's start, you can, oh, oh the yeah, way. the camera's picking up the steam coming out. Look at that. Oh, that's not steam, that's called, those are called spores. Spores? Spores from the mold that's growing on the poop. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, it's gross. All right, uh, this actually makes good fertilizer, but I'm lazy. It's going in the garbage, all right. All right, so it's been about seven or eight minutes. Look at that frass. And uh, Lorenzo is still holding Iomoth caterpillars like it's nothing. Um, show me show me what it looks like here. It's been seven or eight minutes. Oh, that's a good whelp there, hasn't it? Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Almost the size of him. <laughs> yeah. Well, your form super sensitive. So, um, yeah, guys. Talk, talk to me. Uh, has the pain gone up, down? I'm just going a little bit of down. Honestly. It's gone down? Yeah. Like the first like minute that I got stung, that's when I felt it the most. Okay. So the first minute, it, it kind of burned, and then it started going away? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm just petting him. Petting him? You don't pet Iomoth caterpillars, do you? <laughs> no, but it's really not all that bad. It's not that bad? Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know about my son or where he gets his logic from, but... Um, so now, do, do you like eye moth caterpillars? Talk to me about that. I mean, they're really colorful. They're pr they're good looking, so they make a pretty moth. Yeah, I like their face. There's really nothing that um I have against them. So you have nothing against them, even though it just jacked up your forearm. Well, I'll jack him up if I really wanted to. So. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, we have our container full of eye moth caterpillars here. So. Iomoth caterpillars are actually immune to each other's stings, which is kind of interesting. They ha they hang out in gregarious clusters. Gregarious. Gregarious. That's a big thirty cent word, isn't it? Uh, gregarious is a term that means in in like groups or together, like you hang out together. If a person is gregarious, that means they like hanging out with other people. All right. So. These caterpillars are gregarious. They like hanging out with each other. They become more solitary in final instar, but the first few instars, they are all about hanging out in big clusters. So guys, we've got other videos on these moths and um, we're, we're, these are actually from the Florida Keys. It's a different subspecies. These are Automeris Io form Lilith. Mm -hmm. And they look a little bit different than the Iomaws in the mainland of Florida and the rest of the United States. So if you want to check out some of the other videos on this bug, uh, please go ahead and find them on our channel. We've got we've got about 50 caterpillars in this container here. Uh, they hide pretty well until you accidentally put your hand on one. So guys, hope you like the video. Uh, give us a thumbs up. And, uh, you know, Lorenzo... Are you going to? He, he's putting his hand inside no, of the I, oh, of the bay I tree. Forgot like, about that. Yeah, no, I'm trying to put him back. You're trying to put him back, but he's not really Dude. cooperating. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. That's a smart. That's the smartest <laughs> thing you've done this whole time, buddy. Thanks for being a good sport. Thank you. Uh, watch out for spiny bugs. Uh, kids at home, by the way, uh, if you ever see a caterpillar with hairs spines or you know any kind of like little appendages it's probably best not to touch them so don't try this at home uh i would say we're professionals but that would be a little bit of an embellishment i guess we are professionals you are yeah i am a professional all right so we are professionals <laughs> yeah so don't try this at home uh ion moth caterpillars do hurt it, it burns and it's especially if you know if you were to get it under on your foot barefoot or whatever uh, on your face. You definitely don't want to stink, get stung on your face. Um, it will hurt more. So guys, thumbs up on the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out our other videos. Mm. Lorenzo, till next time. What? Till next time. Enjoy South Florida. Let's get out there and enjoy South Florida. Find some cool bugs like the Io Moth. All right, folks. Our Io Moth caterpillars are finally all in final instar we got great big io moth caterpillars for you to show you guys and i'm super excited about this because
that means we're we're nearing the end of our journey of finally rearing the Florida Keys version of the Io Moth. And uh, even though my son elected on his own to get stung, um, just to see how it, see what it felt like, uh, and I don't don't recommend that to anybody. But uh, I've been super careful about handling these guys. I'm wearing these long gloves because. I'm not a masochist and I don't feel like getting stung, but we've got what looks to be about 45 uh, healthy caterpillars. We've had a few, uh, probably every every couple days, we have a few of them that that we find dead on the bottom, like virus. And, uh, but for the most part, you know, they're looking pretty healthy. I'm gonna actually go get some new food for these guys today uh, because it is time. It's time to get them some Go cut some new food, but as you can see, our ion moth caterpillars are are big. They're healthy. They're in final instar. They're growing, and we've probably within the next few days are going to start seeing the first individuals begin to make their cocoons. Uh, hopefully, um, to put an end to this project. Um, these guys are awesome. Check this guy out. He's actually. This guy's actually chewing on this leaf. You can actually hear him chew, listen. All right, guys, exciting moment here. I've got a female Io moth emerged. Oh yeah, man, she's, she's magnificent, man. Ooh. 